writing the theoretical background of a study for a thesis. Talking about theoretical background, it consists of theories, legal pieces, related literature, and related studies. It should always be in the present tense, both in the proposal and, and thesis final writing of the result. In writing the theoretical background, write the theoretical background as paragraph side head. It is in the lower case except the first letter. Start writing with a theory or theorists that can support the study. Cite the author of the source or sources of the information. Do not copy word for word or period to period. Recast but stick to the idea. Elaborate the discussion to lower the similarity. This is true to the whole part. Example the theorists necessary for the very core of the study are duly presented in Figure 1. The study anchors on own extrinsic motivational theory, operant conditioning, as underscored by B. F. Skinner, 1948, who is regarded as the father of the operant conditioning. So this is an example of your um, first paragraph of the theoretical background. If you have more than one or two or three theories, just follow in the uh, next uh, paragraphs. After the theoretical uh, framework, uh, the first page where the theoretical framework is written as paragraph side head, the next page will present the theoretical framework. So this is an example of the framework. Talking about theoretical framework, it is the structure that can hold or support the theory of a research study. The theoretical framework introduces and describes the theory. Uh, you write here, or inside the box of the theory, you write all the theories that uh, uh, support your study. Then in the box, a legal basis, you write also the all the legal pieces that will also support the uh, study then your study focus so study focus this is now the thing that is the subject of your study for example uh, in the title Perception of quality physical education in the three levels of education, basis for the inclusion in the school plan development. You write here uh, your study focus as the perception of quality physical education in the three levels. Then, here uh, in the outcome box, write the outcome. The outcome or the output of the study that is in the example cited school plan development right here after the writing of the framework you can continue with the writing of the uh, background uh, in write in writing uh, the legal basis this is an example so possibly if you are going to use the paid order then you need to write the, the 
the, the, the number of the order, then uh, the title of the DepEd order. So continue writing. Uh, after all the theories have been presented and discussed, having presented a legal basis that support the study, continue with related literature. And that is written from general to specific. That is from international to national or local uh, in scope. Usually, uh, if it is coming from the book, it is uh, authored by um, international, national uh, people. Then, uh, related studies still from international or local studies. Same way, only the idea should be written or should be copied. Do not forget to cite the sources and that you need to discuss elaborately to avoid plagiarism and higher similarity check. You can now start writing the theoretical background of your study. God bless.